Pleiades, Narbaral Gamma and Solution Epsilon, Overlord, Part 2. In fact, Narbaral doesn't take death as a hobby like Lupus Regina, but she easily gets angry with those who offended Ains, and Nazarek is ready to kill instantly if Ains doesn't stop her. At first, Ains had to stop her from time to time, but now she's calmer than before, but her disdain is still unbearable. She is slow to understand and can't express her role very well. But we cannot criticize Narbaral, because she alone has to shoulder a very important and honorable responsibility, being Ains's bodyguard. Ains was initially hesitant to choose between Lupus Regina and Narbaral because both of them were quite similar to humans, but eventually chose Narbaral because of her race and regretted it. Because she was followed as a bodyguard, she was the Pleiades that got the most, but made everyone in Nazareth jealous, and I'm jealous with Ains Hicks. Solution Epsilon. Belonging to the slime race was created by Hiro Hiro who is a slime man, who was talking to Momanga at the beginning of episode 1 of anime. Because she is a slime race, Solution can change her shape at will so she chooses for herself a super fiery body. She often appears with an extremely beautiful appearance, which according to the light novel description, the word, beautiful, is not enough to describe her, who possesses blonde hair with curly curls, blue eyes, a hot sexy body like, delicious thick bread. She is also rated on par with the Golden Princess, in my opinion, Reiner has absolutely no door. According to my watching anime experience, most of the slime strains are genderless but Solution is different, she is a female slime. With Kerma 400, is one of the two most dangerous Pleiades to humans, her slime race is Predator Slime. A carnivorous slime, she treats humans as toys and food. Whenever she is asked for a reward from Ains, she usually chooses people that are not benevolent, she likes those who are alive and innocent the most. Her way of hunting is quite similar to a flower that catches prey. Her clothes are easy to take off, which is to reveal the places that need to be exposed, to attract the eager, when the time is right, she will deliver the ultimate attack by exposing her flesh, that praise will automatically fall into the net. Ordinary humans cannot escape and are slowly absorbed, enjoying the screams and fear in despair. She is also interested in bones, but only Ains's bones, at work, she is smart and sharp, she perfectly does a good job as a slutty miner in the task of gathering information, and her actions about Seba's show that she can analyze and assess situations quite well, she always acts in favor of Nazarek, she is willing to criticize Seba's, her superior, for influencing Nazarek, and when Seba's doesn't stop her actions, she denounced Seba's to Ains. Conclusion. Above is information about the two Pleiades female warriors of Nazarek, Although they are only maids fighting to guard the 10th floor, they are built very well. Next time I will bring everyone about the remaining two Pleiades. See you again.